it again and I am getting sick and tired of this. Headphone warning, this will be a rant video. Who am I? I am Mecha Random 42, the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer addict. It's Harpy! And if you guys haven't noticed lately, there is one certain actress who has been the brunt of all of the backlash, all the negative, toxic, little wokier than thous, you know, the little religious zealots who don't understand that they're no different than a modern day church lady. Mm -hmm. These are puritanical, pearl clutching children who don't understand that what an actor says on social media or likes or equates to doesn't actually harm or affect them and destroying their lives is not something that is okay. And I know what you're going to say. But Becca, you made a thousand Brie Larson videos and re re re. I have never once said that, they, that she should be fired for anything she said on social media. I have never once said or petitioned or campaigned that she be removed from Captain Marvel. I did say, hey, if Marvel wants to really, really put their money where their mouth is, same thing with Brie Larson, that they would have a Monica Rambeau story. But we don't go and try and cancel these people. You're entitled to your stupid opinion. And so is Gina. If it isn't. And I don't even think it's that stupid of an opinion. What does she do? She tweets out a bunch of random things on social media. Like, hey, be confident and, and be the one voice and be strong and all these courageous things. So that's what she usually tweets out. I'm not there stalking her Twitter account like a baby, like these people. Like, what are these little, these little children, one of these temper tantrum throwing brats who don't understand... <laughs> that just because an actress likes a tweet it doesn't actually fucking hurt them but <laughs> i get tired of it sorry about the headphone warning no it doesn't hurt them it doesn't hurt them not only that this is an actress who actually is representative of some people you know you want to see yourself on screen well guess what she's not a size zero she's a muscular strong woman and she's inspiring me to play more of the the switch boxing game on nintendo switch that i've been playing a little bit of what is it it's called Let's go fitness boxing. This is the second one. I got them both. Why? Why have I been playing it? Because I want to have a little bit more ability to handle myself in case I meet these people in real life. Because if they're this bad on social media, what are they like in person? They are trying to go to her employer. They're trying to petition, go to John Favreau and get Gina Carano fired. Like I said, she's inspired me to start boxing more. She's inspired me to eat a little better. Just so, because here's a woman who has a body type I could strive for. She's pretty close to my age. She's pretty close to, to the body type that I could probably achieve. Probably achieve. I'm never going to be a size zero. Come on, for crying out loud. And these people, these people are still, still, still. This is the number one trending on Twitter. This is the number one trending thing on Twitter. And I wasn't even going to bring up this article because, let's face it, I thought this was just one of those things that are meant to smooth over these little wokey wokes. I thought this was going to be one of those things. I thought it was fake because it's from We Got This Covered. And usually they're fake. Gina Carano has allegedly, probably not, reportedly apologized to Disney for social media behavior, which is a great way to shut up the little wokey wokes, isn't it? It's a great way to shut them up. Gina Carano could do no wrong with the Star Wars fan community once upon a time ago. Well, she, she still can't, depending on which, which faction, which faction of the Star Wars fandom you have, because you've got the little wokier than wokes that just hate everything. And this is where we're all divided. This is where they've, they've conveniently categorized people into, well, if you're a hater, then you're of this political group, you're of this belief, you're of this woke religion, and then the rest of us are all kind of blamed and labeled as Oh, you're just a bunch of right wing. How do you know? How do you really, really know? Maybe we're just tired of the shit and we don't like either of them. We don't like any side. And that's why I didn't want to talk about this because I don't even believe this is true. It's a regular fire. Gene Carano is a regular trend, trend on Twitter. That's why I was thinking maybe they just released this as a as a way to shut up those people because they're so dumb. They'll believe anything. That's where we're at. Those people are so dumb. They'll believe anything about anything because they are religious in their wokeness it is it is a religion to them you prove something wrong right to their face you prove something wrong right to their face and they re and scream like they're being deprogrammed and removed from their cult that is where we are at right now and i am so tired of this crap so here here's the thing here's the thing this is just a rumor that take it with a complete grain of salt i don't even believe it happened i don't believe it happened i think what what might have been likely what might have been likely is that 
she might have said, hey, how can I how can I keep from being attacked on social media constantly? And they probably they probably said, just be quiet. Just be quiet because they have no way to train. Like they don't have a position in Hollywood to say stay off of social media. They don't have a position for that. They need one. They need one. They need something where actors scrub their social media and only let their PR people tweet out for them maybe or just only promotional things and only pause. You can't get into the Twitter beefs no matter how much. I try not to, but you know what? I'm only representing myself. And myself is, I'm a harpy and I will get into a few Twitter beasts with people and I will smack them down every single time. Because let's face it, sometimes they deserve it. Oh, baby Yoda. All right, I can't be mad when I'm looking at baby Yoda. Sorry. <sighs> this stuff, this stuff. It's hard to be mad when you're looking at baby Yoda, but they still keep going, don't they? And you guys told me, hey, hey, Mecca, I think you need to cover this on a video because it's trending at number one. And yeah, yeah, I wasn't going to at first. I wasn't going to at first because again, 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 I don't want to keep bringing negativity towards this. But for fuck's sake, people, how how much? What is enough? What is enough? Do you want to just destroy somebody's life? Like, I leave fucking Brie Larson alone. We all do. We moved on past her. Shut up! And we weren't trying to get her fired. We were not trying to get her fired. We were just critical of the stupid shit she says. And you know what? If you want to be critical of Gina Carano and what she says, that's your business. That's your business. But when you go out of your way to try and fire her, Fire her! The pa Oh, we need to get her fired! We need her fired! Fuck you. Every fucking one of them! Every fucking one of them! And I'm so tired of this! And at least we've got- At least we've got the love for it! Keep trying, cancel culture losers! If you see this, reply with fire Gina Carano to get it trending! That's targeted harassment! And you know what we do to targeted harassment like that? We report it! We report it! This account is also trying to spam to trend and get hashtags. Report the entire account. They are posting a spam to trend and hashtag. That is what we do. And then we block them and then we move on. I'm not engaging with these, these people anymore. I'm not dealing with their shit. I'm not dealing- And you know what I said? Let's- Let's continue the Gina Carano love train. The wokier than thou zealots are being a bunch of pearl-clutching church ladies again, trying to cancel her because they're fragile little snowflakes. Let's out-trend them. Let's just out-trend them. Let's out-trend them because these people don't understand. How would they like it if we went to their employers? How would we like it if we went to their employers to try and get them canceled, to try and get them fired? to try and get them expelled and expunged and removed from their place of employment just because we might disagree with them. And it's completely, completely in the realm of possibility that they could be actually be offended by this. And I don't really fucking care because I certainly get, I get offended today by a lot of what actors tweet out wanting to do very, very harmful things Why? to entire political associated people. Entirely, that's, that's the modern day trend. How many, how many of these actors get away with tweeting out actual harmful things saying, hey, if you're of this political affiliation, you should be do, you should have this consequence. And I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to read these tweets. Because I am so fucking tired of this shit. I am so fucking tired of this shit. I am so fucking tired of these people deciding to cancel somebody. To cancel somebody just because they're a bunch of assholes. That's all they are. They're a bunch of assholes. They're just playground brats trying to hurt somebody that they don't like because they can get away with it. Because they got nothing else in their lives. They got nothing else that they have. Like, guess what? Guess what? This person, 600, 600 followers, they have nothing going on in their life. They have nothing. They have a YouTube channel. What is your YouTube channel like? How many, how many subscribers do you have? You have 67 subscribers. Oh, I know this person. I've blocked this person from time to time. I've blocked this person. I recognize that. I recognize that account. Hmm, these are professional trolls. These are professional trolls who just want to, who just are trying to jump on the, the bandwagon to get themselves known. 
to get themselves known. And it just gets so irritating. It gets so irritating to scroll through this shit constantly. Imagine, imagine if you were a celebrity and you see this crap all the goddamn day. All goddamn day. Now one week goes by without her being problematic as fuck. Well, what the fuck? Don't follow her, you stupid. Seriously. Don't follow her. Don't follow her. It gets old. It gets so fucking old. And I'm so tired of this shit. I am so tired of this shit. I'm going to fucking report every goddamn one. I'm just, we're, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. I just have to report these people for targeted harassment and spamming people to, to what? You're spamming people to trend a hashtag. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. And I'm sick of this shit. I am so sick of these people. I don't want to deal with any one of them. Nothing happens. We can be pretty sure that Disney are accepting her behavior. What the fuck is it of yours? What the fuck is it of yours? Report. This is all I'm doing. I'm just yelling and reporting tweets. That's the whole video. That's the whole video. And this video will probably be demonetized because I am just yelling. I'm just yelling at this point. And I'm so fucking tired of it. I am so fucking tired of this crap. And I'm, I'm getting, I'm just getting done with these people. I gotta stop scrolling through this because I'm just going to be reporting and blocking all day. So, why are they so offended? Because they think that words can actually harm them because somebody disagrees with them because that's how radicalized these crazies are. That is how divided we are in this, in this country is that we have these two factions of people. We have one faction of people who are like, hey, what does this hurt? You know, even, even when I do a video on somebody like Marina Sirtis from Star Trek, I say, what does this actually hurt? Well, it tells me that you don't want all of us as, as customers. What does it do? It tells me that you don't want us as customers. You don't want us as customers of Star Trek. When you flat out say, I don't like this group of people and they need to be whatever and have a consequence. Fine, if you're an actor and you actually say that. Gina Carano doesn't. She doesn't. She equates a lot of what she's going through with a lot of bad things that have happened in the past, which are absolutely true. This is absolutely true. We have a new socially acceptable group of people that it is perfectly okay and condoned and allowed, according to these wokey wokes, not according to me, that it is perfectly allowed and condoned, according to the wokey wokes, to take shots at, to be disrespectful towards, to be hateful towards. You have an entire group of people that it is perfectly okay according to society. You have people who say, well, I can't be ist against you because you look like this. Really? Really? So we're teaching people to hate and divide based on the physical superficial shit. How is that not equivalent to, to what she was tweeting about? How is that not? And I'm dancing around it to try and get monetized so they actually promote this video. Promote this video for a couple of people. How is that not equivalent to what went on in Germany? How is that not equivalent to Salem witch hunts and all of those things? Or, or the, the have you, are you now or have you ever been a member of this party? Oh, really? Really? How is that not the exact same thing? Because I see this and I see history repeating itself right in front of our eyes and a bunch of these stupid ass wokier than thou motherfuckers who are not smart enough to understand that and they just want to re and complain because they're allowed to because social media said it was okay. And I am tired of this. I am MechaRandom42 and I will see you guys on the next video, live stream or wherever. Also, yes, I stand with Gina Carano. We love Cara Dune. Hashtag... All those things and F these wokier than woke people. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Those who abuse power are not going to have a change of behavior out of the goodness of their hearts. They are motivated by self-interest and they will only change their behavior if they have to worry they will lose what they care about.